Hello everyone, it's your man Baza B here and our gorgeous Lindsay B. Welcome to episode 40 of One Man and His Boat. So before we get started with today's episode guys, I just wanted to say I hope you're all staying safe out there, staying what your government tells you, stay isolated, obviously it's unprecedented times and we need to kick this blooming disease in the butt before it even gets a chance to get a grip of us. So do as you're told, stay out the way, stay in your houses, watch one man in his boat, have a wee um, one man in his boat party, yay that'll do, mind you, aye. If I had to hear me slavering for Bowman half an hour, I would be the same as well. <laughs> hey, oh, talk about half an hour, it's not going to be half an hour, guys, because I'm not allowed to go down to Mummy's to upload the videos. I've got to date for an hour abode, and we are just like got crap internet. Hey, we tried last week, it took us three and a half hours to upload a seven minute video. So, it's saying that, I'm going to stop slavering and I'm going to show you what I've been up to. So boys and girls, continuing on for episode 39, in that episode we actually got our bulge pumps put in and uh, I was going th through the process on that. Uh, in this episode we're going to go through the hydraulics. It's a Spencer Carter pump and clutch. Um, the fascia on the PTO on the gearbox was a little bit rusty with lying, so I had to uh, rub that down with some wire wool, uh, put the gasket on, some copper grease, <coughs> and then we lined her up and then put the bolts on. A wee bit of Loctite on the bolts, so the pump is going absolutely nowhere, it is solid. So I got excited with myself and I thought, right, let's fit the hydraulic tank. So we got that fitted as well, because this was all prep work. I shall show you how I fastened it down um, in minutes few. So the hydraulic tank was fitted and it's also earthed. Don't know if you can see that there, where my finger is, yay. Now the reason I asked that is because obviously there's fluid going th back into that with your return valve there um, and to me that would build up static as well. If you're a marine electrician and you know better, please comment below and let me know. If you think you're a marine electrician and you think you know better, please let a, leave a comment below. But depending on what you write is depending on the reply that I give you. <laughs> anyway, so I was reading my sea fish guidelines and between the hydraulic tank here and your pump here you're meant to have an on off valve so I thought right I'll put it directly onto the, the, the fitting here and I measured, done all my measurements and then from my measurements I went onto an app just to confirm my sizes and I went right that's fair enough so I bought them £140 Yay, shiny, shiny stainless steel, nice and heavy. That'll take a bit of punishment for hydraulics. Then I went to try and fit it. Oh dear. I don't know if you can see that very well. But it just doesn't fit. So, I think at the end of this build I'm going to have a big jumble sale and I'll try and recuperate half my money, I swear to God. So it's back to the drawing board. There must be a slight difference between BSP and hydraulic. So once again, if you know better, please leave a comment below. I think I'm in my experience. I think because I've been off a year, in fact it's over a year now, that I've lost my whole thought process about uh, how to do things and stuff like that. It's quite concerning actually. Either that, it's old age. <laughs> I'll go for the latter. I'm having a senior moment. <laughs> Right boys and girls, how did I fit the uh, hydraulic tank down? Well, it was simply just wee 6mm bolts like that, 35mm in length. These wee bad boys are the bee's knees. What happens is, when you put your bolt on and do it tight, 
these drag up into the plywood and they grip it with these barbs that are on the end of it here. I don't know if you can see, it, see the wee triangular bit. Now these barbs stick into the plywood and it's the opposite thread of what the bolt is and it fair grips tight. Now the hydraulic tank has six of these in there and she ain't going to move. So that is how I fastened the hydraulic tank. Right, okay boys and girls, um, I think I've slavered on enough. I'm sorry I'm going to have to cut that short as per usual. Um, and you can look forward to your next episode which will talk about the exhaust system and maybe even going on to uh, what I was doing at the diesel end. Right guys, stay safe. Oh, before I forget, I'd like to welcome all our new subscribers. Thank you very much for joining us. And for all our old ones, thank you very much for sticking by us. Uh, obviously, I must be entertaining someday along, along the world, that's for sure. Right guys, stay safe, stay isolated. We'll get through this together. And I'll see you on the next episode. All the best, my friends. Take care now. Oh, by the way, see when uh, Scotland gets heat, this is what happens. <laughs> Unbelievable! Right, let's get on my building. Hoorah! <gasps> Should Barry be a little tease? <gasps> I think so. Come on. Oh! Who's been a busy boy then? <laughs>